Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mythical and today we're going to be talking about Logic Pro's multi-effects plugins, the step effects, the fat effects, and the remix effects. And I incorporated all three of these plugins on this little song I wrote before recording today and they are tremendously powerful and I'm going to show you exactly how they work right after we take a listen to this track. All right, let's go. Never really saw you coming until you turned me around. Mm. I used to think I was nothing, but look at this love we found. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So the very first thing that I decided to do with this particular track was kind of play around with the step effects. And the step effects is a really cool gating tool that has nearly endless possibilities. And what I wanted to do was give my simple, basic little hi-hat pattern a little bit more character and a little bit more of a filtering modulation gating kind of feel and that's exactly what the step effects uh, help me out with very easily by the way so if you're not aware the uh, the step effects is a unit that's capable of deep modulation control it features three independent step modulators and works with MIDI and audio it's really great for subtle or heavy rhythmic and gating effects for musical parts or you can completely warp your audio or instrument track into something completely new which I kind of did here but as you can see um, I have some automation that kind of acts as a transition so what I'll do is I will solo out my hi-hat section and you'll start hearing it and what the, the, the musical effect is uh, achieving here is like kind of like a transition that you would you would find before a chorus it starts to open up the hi-hats and um, it just gives it a little bit more of a, a character and, and differentiates some of the sound so you'll start to see the automation is happening and we're opening up that filter and it's giving that nice high-end feel a little bit more reverb and there's some distortion there as well. And all of these parameters are controlled under your X and Y options here. Um, and automation is advisable for this kind of thing because you can really make things sound crazy and super cool with uh, just a couple clicks of the, the mouse. So let's listen to that in context. Very cool. And I also used the uh, step effects on my synth arpeggio thing that I wrote. And I didn't do any um, automation for this, but what I did was I chose a preset and all it was is the deep space preset. And what this is giving me is some filtering, some reverb and panning because the original arpeggio, even though it sounded cool, we'll listen to it now with the uh, step effects on. You can hear it's very atmospheric and it has a really cool panning effect, but when I turn it off, it still sounds cool, but not as cool as this preset, for sure. And this is no automation, this is straight out of the box. So, pretty amazing stuff. So the next thing that I did was I worked with my bass and that is on uh, the fat effects. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so the fat effects 
is really powerful. Um, it's a powerful coloring multi-effect tool and it's designed mostly for drums, bass, and guitar, uh, but it's not limited to vocals because it has a lot of the uh, nice gluing um, effects that you could you would find out of tape saturation and other distortion modules. It has a, a simple compressor. You can side chain it uh, very easily to anything as well. And just like the step effects, you can move around your signal chain down here uh, with ease to make your own basic signal chain. So with the bass, I did just some distortion, uh, mod effects, and then bass enhancer. And I really liked the mod effects because it acts as a pseudo chorus like effects. And you can choose between four different presets, like a classic soft doubler and heavy. And I just chose the doubler, kept my mix at 50% and chose um, 60 Hertz for the mod effects and the bass enhancer to kind of give that nice round tone. Um, and it widens the bass a little bit too. And I'll go ahead and play it. This is with the fat effects on. off. I'll solo the drums with this as well. Fat effects back on. Off. It just adds a little bit of character and I think what I like most about it is is just that mod effects. It really is a cool little touch and I to be honest haven't used it until today but I'm definitely going to be using it on my bass a lot more uh, because it just gives it that little bit of edge that I can I really really appreciate so yeah like the step effects everything is uh, able to be automated um, it's nearly endless with the things that you can do so give it a shot if you haven't been using it um, Try try using it on, on, on your drums and bass and guitars or vocals. I think you're really going to be pleased with the result. And the last plugin that I want to talk about through the multi-effects selection is the remix effects. And I actually think this might be my favorite plugin by Logic of all time because it's so fun to use on really anything. So in the... Um, reverse snare track here what I did was I took my snare and I bounced it and I, I reversed it to make it like a, a reversed snare effect um, but I wanted to maybe add a little bit of automation and, and gating effect to it to maybe make it sound a little bit um, cooler have a little bit more character and what I did was I just basically automated this gate parameter here and I'll show you right now so as we play this you'll see it turns on, off. And I chose just random things on the, on the gate knob here just to make it like not the same on every reverse snare hit. I wanted a little bit of different rhythm going into each one just to differentiate, which I thought is kind of actually a cool touch. I, I, also have not done that until today so this has been kind of a fun little tutorial and I think you I think you're gonna get some benefit out of this so let's listen to this sounds awesome Cool. Now I also put it on my vocal track, but I didn't do any automations with this because I think this part I'm just going to sit and play with the plugin to show you the different things that you can do. The remix effects, if you're not aware of it, if you haven't been using it, it's basically a DJ inspired multi effects unit that controls several real time effects that are common in like dance music and electronic music so I felt it was very appropriate for this particular tutorial and, and song. Um, it's kind of like a turntable and you can play audio in reverse, 
you can downsample things. There's a repeater, there's a filter, like a high pass and low pass filter. Um, you can choose between different uh, wobbling and orbit effects and some um, delay and reverb. They're mostly like uh, filtering between like phasers and some other stuff, like a, a combination. Uh, but we'll go ahead and play with all of them and I will just show you what this thing sounds like because I think it's super, super cool. Okay, let's go. Let's just go ahead and loop it. And play. Never really saw you coming until you turned me around. Do some filtering. Mm -hmm. I used to think I was nothing. But look at this stuff we find. Okay. Let's do some mm -hmm. gating. Try some down sample. No, I don't ever want to sing. Never really saw the repeater come in until you turned me over, till you turned me over, till you turned, till you turned, till you turned, till you turned. I used to think I was nothing. Look at this love we found. Okay. So So yeah, this is really useful on individual instrument buses, but it's also, uh, or individual instrument tracks, but it's mostly used for either an instrument bus or your primary stereo out bus. And I'll actually just go ahead and, and copy this right over to my stereo out, and we'll listen to the whole track, and then we'll play with the remix as a, a whole unison track. And you'll get to see and hear what that sounds like as well. So let's go ahead. Turn it back to the filter, start from the beginning. Never really saw you come in until you turned me around. Let's go to the actual mm. stereo out. Here we go. That's what the orbit preset sounds like. Just kind of cycling mm. through the filter. So Let's go back go to the regular high pass, low pass. It'd be really cool for transitions. Some gate sounds like. Yep, it is nearly endless and I could probably play with this for hours. I really hope that you found some benefit off of this tutorial. And I think that if you use these three different uh, plugins in your mix, you're gonna find that not only will your uh, mixes improve by quality, but your inspiration will also go up as well, you know, to make things sound more interesting and less bland. But yeah, if you, want, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to stay up to date with more of these Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks. And if you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you disliked it, well, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.